EU mission in Armenia targeting Russia rather than Azerbaijan. Recently, the Armenian parliament ratified the agreement on the status of the EU mission stationed on the border in Azerbaijan. As is known, the mission was established in January 2023 and in December, the number of mission participants increased from 138 to 209 people, according to Aza News media outlet. Currently, the US joining this process and planning to send its soldiers to Armenia as part of the EU mission actually means that the West is creating its own military base in Armenia. All these processes take place on the borders of Azerbaijan, so many think that this format is directed against Azerbaijan. However, member of the Azerbaijani parliament, Fazil Mustafa, thinks that this mission links with Russia rather than Azerbaijan. Speaking to Aza News on the issue, the Azerbaijani MP noted that Armenia takes these measures because it feels uneasy. He pointed out that Armenia is right in a certain sense from its own point of view. The MP underlined that the issue should be approached on the basis of relations with Russia rather than with Azerbaijan. Yerevan emphasized intensive contact with the West. However, they probably calculated how dangerous and risky these relationships are. Otherwise, the presence of the EU mission or the US mission in the region can create great cataclysms for Armenia. Because a country that has built such deep relations with Russia suddenly makes a U-turn and approaches to another power center. The protective capabilities of this power center are also not at a high level. Therefore, this issue is still one of the factors that show that Armenia itself is a bit adventurous. This is a dangerous adventure, and it is difficult to say how Armenia will eliminate its consequences. He said, Fazil Mustafa pointed out that the fear from his society and takes concrete steps towards peace. As I mentioned earlier, the increase in the number of military personnel from the West is a matter related to Russia. For Azerbaijan, Armenia is already a country that maintains a military base of a foreign state in its territory. As is known, except for the military base in Gyumri, the borders of Armenia and the airport are guarded by the military of another country, not by Armenia's own military. Now, the arrival of new foreign power means that there will be a problem between the previous power and the newcomers. Therefore, this is more relevant to the relations between Armenia and Russia. Fazil Mustafa opined, the MP pointed out that the creation of the West's military base in Armenia means a military conflict with Russia. Republican congressman calls for resignation of U.S. House Speaker over blocking aid to Ukraine. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives and Trump's ally, has initiated the resignation of a fellow party member, House Speaker Mike Johnson, who is delaying U.S. aid to Ukraine. The Hill reported this. According to an informed source, Greene has filed a motion to remove Johnson from power the same procedural step that led to the resignation of former Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy in October 2023. This was preceded by the House of Representatives' approval of a U.S. $1.2 trillion spending package to avert a U.S. government shutdown. On Steve Bannon's podcast on Friday morning, Green accused Johnson of giving too much away to U.S. President Joe Biden and Democrats at government funding talks. Whether there will be enough votes to remove Speaker Johnson is unclear. According to The Hill, this is due to the fact that a number of Democrats who unanimously voted for McCarthy's resignation in October say they will support Johnson if he continues to make bipartisan deals with Biden on issues such as government funding and aid to Ukraine. Johnson refused to consider the Senate-approved support package for Ukraine, but promised to work on a House version of the bill when Congress returns to Washington in the middle of next month after a recess. Earlier, Mike Johnson, Republican Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, stated that the bill for supplementary funding for Ukraine would be considered as soon as the federal government's financing issues are resolved. U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson effectively agreed to unblock the decision to provide aid to Ukraine, but with significant changes. As a House of Representatives bill and in the form of a loan or lend lease. He also admitted that aid to Ukraine and Israel would still be divided into separate bills. Any new bill will have to receive enough votes in both the House and the Senate. 
Russian hackers attempt to deceive German politicians. Russian hackers and spies attempted to deceive representatives of German political parties using fake dinner invitations, according to Bloomberg. Hackers from the APT 29 group linked to the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service were previously known for attacks on diplomatic institutions, but this time they focused on political parties. The material writes that this shift indicates a broad threat to European and other Western political parties across the political spectrum. Chief analyst at Mandiant Intelligence, John Hultquist, said he is concerned that this may not be an isolated incident and other organizations may become targets of hackers in the near future. The attack involved Russian hackers posing as representatives of Germany's center-right Christian Democratic Union Party, sending fake dinner invitations via email claiming the dinner would take place on March the 1st. The invitation encouraged recipients to click a link which directed them to a malicious file. The report added that the shift of Russian hackers to attacks on political parties aligns with Kremlin interests in understanding decision-making processes related to Ukraine and other issues. The article notes that some of the hacking tools used by Russian spies in the attack on Germany were first detected by security researchers at the end of January 2024. Outside of Ukraine, there is no bigger priority for Russia's intelligence services right now than monitoring changing Western political dynamics, said Mandiant's chief analyst, Dan Black. He believes this attack is not just aimed at targeting the Christian Democratic Union Party of Germany. He thinks it's part of broader Russian efforts to find ways to undermine European support for Ukraine. Recently, a series of cyber attacks by hackers were recorded during which the perpetrators sent Ukrainian servicemen messages via the Signal Messenger with malicious software about recruitment to the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the Israeli Defense Forces.